ஸ்ரீ குர்பியோ நம்ம செல்றேன் வெல்கம் டு அவர் ஆன்லைன் டீச்சிங் அகாடமி ஏ கலைவா டுடே வேர் கோயிங் டு சி கிளாஸ் எயிட் த சப்ஜெக்ட் சயின்ஸ் த டாபிக் நேம் இஸ் ஆர்கனைசேஷன் ஆஃப் லைஃப் இன் திஸ் செஷன் வி ஹாவ் டு சி த ஃபிசியாலஜிக்கல் ப்ராசஸ் வி சார் த சிக்ஸ் டைப்ஸ் வி சார் தேர் நோ ஃபிசியாலஜிக்கல் ப்ராசஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டூ சைட் ஹோமியோஸ்டாசிஸ் அண்ட் டிஃபியூஷன் ப்ராசஸ் ஆஃப் ஓவர் then third topic is the osmosis process this topic we have to see in this session c c osmosis what is osmosis we know that no osmosis is the movement of solvent particles across the semi membranous membrane from the dilute solution into the concentration solution okay osmosis means what is that the the movement of particles movement of particles how they movement means they move across the membrane so on semi membrane will be there it works like a filter okay filter means it can allow a particular selected things as can allow from passes through their their waste no? so from the across the semi permeable membrane they transfer they move how they move means dilute solution into a concentrated solution dilute solution into concentrated solution so this is called the osmosis clear see the solvent moves dilute the concentrated solution and equalize the concentration they move the dilute concentration to solution to the concentrated solution what will happen in both side of the semi membrane it will be equalized okay so this process is happening in the whole osmosis okay see in this osmosis are rele- relevant how relevant in our human body means we can say the movement of liquids in and out of the cells the movement of the liquids liquid balance we saw there no so the movement of the liquids move inside and then outside this is the uh, osmosis process clear if it is the cell means the it is the water content okay this water move inside as well as out outside okay comes out outside so this equal process is happening through this the cell membrane through the across the cell membrane the water level will be changed how means the liquids in and out of the cell how they have been moving that uh, in between the cell membrane cell membrane is there no it is works like a semi permeable membrane okay so this is called the uh, this depending concentration of the solution is depending on the surrounding this uh, movement of the cells the liquid liquids and movement of the cells it is depending on the surroundings it are depending on surrounding okay we can give the example here see here in this uh, in the side here we can say it is a semi permeable membrane one semi permeable membrane one, one will be uh, they putting in the middle part of the there okay it is the selective permi permeable membrane like a filter okay see here in the side they are having the low sugar concentration low sugar means if 1 liter of water is there means only the uh, 50 10 gram of uh, sugar is added me it is the low sugar concentration okay in, in they care keep the low sugar concentration in one side uh, after that uh, the the opposite side they keeping the high sugar concentration we can see here no high sugar concentration means if 1 liter water is there means if you had a 250 or 350 um, um, gram of the sugar into that 1 liter water means that is high concentrated solution so in between the semi permeable membrane selective per membrane is there how that or they are equalized means this low sugar concentrated particles is there no slowly they move from the low concentration to the into the higher concentration solution clear so after that what will happen in both sides are equal in the both sides will be equal this is the osmosis process see we can see the three types of the osmosis process no three types of the osmosis process 
what are the three types of the osmosis process situation in the uh, we can vary means one is the isotonic one is the isotonic another one is the hypotonic then third one is the hypertonic third one is hypertonic so three type of the osmosis we can say okay three types of the osmosis is there what does that means one is isotonic hypotonic hypertonic okay what is iso iso means in both side of the uh, water uh, liquid level will be same both are equal means it is isotonic see the external and the internal solutions are organisms are same in the external and the internal will be same means that is isotonic okay what is hypotonic hypotonic means the inside of the internal cell inside of the cell the concentration liquid concentration will be high compared than the outside cell so it is the hypotonic see here external solution concentration is less external is less but the internal the organisms internal cell organism is high the inner solution of organism is high so it is called the in this water will rush out into into the organism will rush into the organism means the water high level of the concentrated water will be rushed in inside of the organism it is the hypotonic level okay third one is the hypertonic what is hypertonic means the water will rush out of the cell the so the cell will be empty is it to so show the water rush out of the cell so the uh, external level of the water level is high the external solution concentration is greater than the inner solution inner solu compared than the inner solution the external solution will be high because the water rush out from the cell clear they rush out from the organism so this is the hypertonic solution we can explain from this blood sol blood okay we can explain the uh, liquid portion of the blood how we can liquid see here this is the blood cell of the um, rbc rbc cells we know that no, it is the blood cells see the first one we saw that isotonic iso means the both side will be equal both side means this is the uh, cells rbc cells the water molecules h2o means water no they rush inside as the same amount will or uh, rush outside so the water level will be the outside and the inter, in, inside will be equal this is isotonic after that we can say the hypotonic hypotonic means the water will rush inside of the cell we can see here no the blood cell is there the water content fully in the both will be fully rush inside of the cell so it is the hypotonic after that the hypertonic hypertonic means the cell will be what what will happen the cell is empty now no so the all the water content will be rush out from the cell organism so this is the hypotonic clear this is the three type of the osmosis process then we can see here the solution and osmosis we can see here hyper means higher solution concentration hypo means lower solution concentration as well as isotonic means same solute concentration both are same we can see here no hypo hypo means the inside of the cell it will be in uh, the concentration is high compared than the outside but uh, the hyper means the outside concentration is high compared than the inside iso means the both side is equal both the sides are same in size okay this is the osmosis next one is the osmo regulation osmo regulation see what is osmo regulation means first the osmo regulation term this term is coined by the hober in 1902 1902 the hober only termed this osmo regulation uh, word okay 
what they ask, what is the means means the process by which an organism regulates the water balance in its body maintenance of homeostasis level this is the asmo regulation what is asmo regulation what asmo regulation means an organism is there it maintaining how they regulates the homeostasis processes regulates by this organism means that is the asmo regulation see here the regulates the water balance regulates the water balance in the body and maintains the homeostasis process maintaining the homeostasis process by that water balance level it is the asmo regulation process clear next one it includes controlling the excess water loss and water gain how it is controlled it control the excess amount of water loss as well as the water gain so it is it can regulating if the water loss is there no it also regulating water gain also regulating so this is the asmo regulation process this is happening with the help of homeostasis clear next one see osmotic concentration that is the concentration of the electrolysis electrolysis means the balance of the water level is the electrolysis we know that no so it ensures the fluids in the body and do not diluted or concentrated they maintaining the diluted and concentrated okay so maintaining the water level inside of the body how they maintaining means the fluid of the body will be maintained they they keep the body too much diluted and then too much concentrated this balance will be maintained it do not it do not allow the too much of the dilution or too much of the concentration this is called the asmo regulation process see we can give the example for this marine water animals okay see see here this is the marine water animals no water is lost through the skin through the skin they are losing the water through the skin as the same amount of the water is drink by that um, animal through this mouth and gills they can get the same amount of the water inside their body as the same amount of water also they send out through like this so they maintaining the uh, water level movement from the outside the water loss and then water gain will be maintained equal then see this osmo regulation also is the two types this osmo regulations are two types okay see we can divided into two types based on the osmo regulation process okay how they are means one is the osmo conformers osmo regulators osmo conformers osmo regulators these are their mammals are called the uh warm blooded animals no warm blooded means they having the constant body temperature is it or not the surrounding will be changed it is no no bother about that they having body the uh, constant temperature as well as some organism some marine organisms having the maintain the osmolality in the matching with their surroundings they having the matching with their surroundings body what is that uh, asmolality process asmolality means the isotonic level it is the the water the liquid fluid um for process uh, moving in the both side are equal means osmolality no so this isotonic osmolality level will be matching with their surroundings so what are the example means we can say that uh, invertebrates marine organism these are all example for the asmo conformers clear second one is the asmo regulators second one is asmo regulators asmo regulators means this organism maintaining the internal osmolality match with the extremely differ extremely differ with their environment so this like organisms are called asmo regulators asmo regulators okay so this is the two types of the asmo regulation process thank you children to receive our online lesson please press the subscribe button and will receive our latest updates thank you